Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and we are not making a Pokemon video today, but I want to talk about something else that I do enjoy a lot, and that is Destiny. If any of you who don't play Destiny, or if you do play Destiny, then most of the events in the game have always been shoot everything on screen. And I'm not the type of person that enjoys player versus player type game modes in first person shooters, because I'm generally not good in them. So when my only event options were Iron Banner or Trials of Osiris, then I simply feel like I'm missing out because there's nothing in the game for me at that point. Like, I do enjoy Archon's Forge, and I do enjoy doing Strikes. But, you know, after a while, that gets boring. You want to do something else. And Spell Racing was the one thing that I looked forward to. When it first came back out, it had two maps. And... It was okay, but it was boring. It was the exact same maps over and over again, and nobody really played it. But we got Spell Racing back, and now we have four maps. Now, that's not a problem. I would like to see more maps, because even now, I find myself racing on the exact same maps. Like, I'll get the same one on Venus or, like, Mars, like, four or five times in a row before I see the one on Earth, and... The matchmaking is kind of bad when it comes to picking maps. So we need more variety in the maps. Now, the Dawning Sparrow Racing has been really fun. But I also have a lot of gripes with it. And most of it is due to the mechanics of the actual racing. The biggest problem that I have with it is that the maps have way too much geometry on them and I mean way too much like if you look at Mario Kart all the maps tend to be flat there are less things for you to run into and when you do hit something you don't really feel like you lose everything that you just gained I mean maybe I'm not playing Mario Kart like right or anything but when I at least play Mario Kart I, I don't feel like I lost because the map did something to me like sure you might lose if you've never seen a map before or practice on it but as you get better at the map the map itself becomes less of an opponent to you and it becomes more of an ally because you learn it you learn what to do at certain parts of what not to do but in destiny like the way the maps are designed is that no matter which way you hit something it can have like this huge effect on the entire race like sometimes you'll do a jump because you have to you have to take that jump and you hit the ground the, the wrong way and it just eats up your momentum you jump off a pad or hit something the wrong way it launches you up in the air it completely kills your momentum and now you're back in last place also, the map is just way too filled with objects. Like, how many of you hit that forklift? I know you did because I hit it, and I keep hitting it. It doesn't need to be there. Or when you're on Mars, and you're going through that wide open field with all the pillars in the, um, just everywhere, you run into them. And... What sucks about it is that you have to put yourself in, like, harm's way just so you can hit the gates. And the gates are another another problem that I have. It's like, you hit a gate, and it gives you a speed boost. You know, that's fair. You know, that's something that games tend to have in their racing. There's something that'll give you a quick speed boost for a little bit. That's not a problem. But if you miss a gate, it saps your speed. And it's not like sometimes it'll sap a little bit of your speed it saps a lot of your speed one time i missed a gate and my sparrow completely stopped it just came to a stop i don't know what caused it i just lost all my speed and it came to a stop and it was super frustrating because the gates change sizes depending on your place if you're in like first or second place the gate is super small so you have to like be straight up on it if you want to get your speed boost and if you're in dead last the gate is wide as fuck so 
they tr they do that so they can give the people in last place more opportunities to hit a gate and catch up while reducing the chances that you will hit a gate which slows you down and my problem with this is is that it does come with a penalty if you miss the gate and I really don't like that simply because the effects that it has on your sparrow is completely random at least for me like I should not be coming to a complete stop if I miss a gate the other thing that sucks is that the gate does not go along at all with the level design that they have for these sparrows like I can forgive them that they have the maps full of enemies and things that shoot at you because the respawn time in this game for spell racing is quick as fuck like it's faster than it is in Mario Kart and that's saying something like you die and you're almost instantly back in the race I like that because if you fall off the map or take a death it doesn't hurt you as much I fell off the map in first place died came back in was still in first so the respawn times are they are great but when it comes to level design itself the game will give you a shortcut and there are a bunch of them you can take a bunch of different paths you don't have to go the exact same way that the game wants you to go but what sucks is if you choose to take that shortcut and you miss a gate then you're penalized for it and that's completely asinine to me when you're taking a shortcut you're doing so for some type of advantage but in this game here the shortcut is like nowhere near a gate so you take the shortcut you miss the gate and you lose speed because of it that makes no sense to me like the way the shortcuts the shortcuts were in Mario Party we I believe it was a lot of them put you like in the grass or something that reduced your speed but if you had a mushroom or something then you can turn that little bit of an advantage or disadvantage into an advantage and gain something off of it and that's what made Mario Kart fun was the random factor but we also had items to help mitigate a lot of this thing so it made sense with the level design in this game here there are no items that you can use on the map to give you a boost or some type of defense or whatever so when you t ride I think there was a pole on the earth map that goes straight up and if you ride that you will miss a gate and you will be penalized for it by losing some speed and that makes no sense to me like at all so like the things that I want to see them do is um I want them to fix the problems where it seems like you lose due to no fault of your own there needs to be less things on the map so they need to take that forklift out and remove some of those pillars and um, that should just generally actually make the racing quality better but if they don't do that then they should at least remove the penalty for missing a gate so that way you don't feel like you have to go out of your way to hit a gate and that was also another problem that I was having is that the sparrows their physics are completely wonky sometimes you'll just be trying to make a sharp turn and you just flip over um, like the gravity on these things are just completely bad and if they can fix the physics it, it will improve the racing a lot but they need to for sure at least remove the penalty for missing the gate because that way it opens up the map a lot everybody's not fighting to try to hit a gate and if you do miss one and you're in the lead you don't have to risk your lead simply because you don't want to get a you don't want to get penalized for missing the gate so in this case they should look at Mario Kart see what it's doing right and then go from there because it's been frustrating trying to complete a lot of the bounties and these are the ones where you have to finish like in top three there's even um, a quest for it where you have to do that and it has been completely completely painful because you'll be doing well and you'll hit like a rock or something and your sparrow shoots up in the air and now you're hovering there waiting to come back down to the ground and 
it, it has just been completely painful. Like, nothing really works the way you expect it to. Yes, I'm glad Sparrow Racing is here. You know, it's something else to do, and I have been enjoying it. But I really don't like it when I'm playing a game, and it really feels like the game is against me because the physics aren't right. I know Destiny isn't a shooter, or a WoW isn't a racing game, and it's a shooter. But if they're going to have it in there, like, it should at least feel good. And for the most part, it does feel good. But the tracks have way too much geometry on them, and they need to do something about it. The tracks should be a little more flat than what they are, and a lot of the obstacles that are on the map should be removed. Another criticism that I have is that on some of the maps, they have these sections where there are things spinning around, and if you run into them, then it eats all your speed. I would like to see them slow that down a little bit, or remove some of it from the actual maps, because depending on the cycle that you have, you're going to get something bad. And it's going to be in a way to where you have to avoid the platform that's moving in front of you, which means you hit, which means you miss the gate, which means you're suffering a speed penalty. And sometimes you can't hit any of the gates because all of the obstacles are in the way of the gate and you lose your speed, which means you lose your lead. And that sucks. Another thing that has been very inconsistent is the, when you hit something, you blow up. And I ran into something at full speed and hit a wall or something and didn't blow up. And then in cases where I'm not, I don't have like any speed at all, I hit a wall and blow up. Like it's super inconsistent. I don't know what causes it. Sometimes my sparrow will be on fire for the entire race and enemies are shooting at me. I get blown up by like a tank or something and I don't like my sparrow doesn't blow up. Other times, you'll just be running and an enemy hits you and you blow up. And it, it just seems super inconsistent the way that the enemies are. It, or at least the way the damage on your Sparrow goes. Like, I don't know if the Sparrows have additional modifiers or something while in Sparrow Racing. I, I mean, clearly they do. But they need to fix that. And another thing, and this here isn't so much of a balance issue or whatever. Or maybe it might be one, I don't know. But the enemies on the track, they should at least drastically reduce their health since there are a lot of bounties where you need to run them over to kill them. So they should at least reduce the health of the enemies a lot, take the shields off all the ones that have shields, and give like the um, Minotaurs and the uh, the other ones, the Servitors, give them like much reduced health so you can hit them and kill them. So I mean, that'd be cool. But a lot of the things that I've been having problems with on the Sparrow Racing is just the physics itself and how the Sparrows interact with the geometry on the map. So if they could at least fix those two things, then Sparrow Racing would get much better. Ideally, I would like to see new maps. Like, maybe four more maps would be fine. And they should take some of these uh, criticisms and try to fix some of those things. Like, it's supposed to be fun and not frustrating. And I know that's subjective because some people are having fun with it. Some people aren't. But a lot of the criticisms that I have been, you know, hearing people say is that a lot of the times when they lose, you know, not place top three, it's due to no fault of their own. Since the only thing you do in this game is hold the boost button and, um, and win for the most part. Just hold L2 and you win or you don't win but that's basically what it is like it doesn't really feel like there's any real skill in the actual racing because there's no penalty for holding down the boost button like at all um and another thing i would probably like to see to make it a little more diverse i would like to see more sparrow racing related gear with perks that affect the actual race and maybe uh what's the other one uh, give us new sparrows Give us um, some of the ones where you can hold R2 to get a boost at the risk of exploding. I still have the one that I had was at like 150 uh, speed, but I used it once in a race and it got me top three because I just held it down a button and got in front of everybody. So clearly something like that can be overpowered, but give us more things that we can do. Like make 
racing feel like it's its own game mode. And that will definitely increase the life of the event because now you can do other things that you want which would it you don't have to always run an iron banner you can run like a spell racing but there's enough gear and materials dedicated to just that that it could be fun for a whole group of people and then we can have you know skill based match making with it on stuff like that's like this is the second time that they ran the event and there have been improvements since the first one but these here are just some of the things that people have been saying and I would like to see that fixed. So if you guys um, did watch this video all the way to the end, like tell me what are some of your gripes that you have with Sparrow Racing, the new one from the dawning, and you know what you would do to fix these things. These are just some of my ideas here and it seems that they have been listening to the community like the ability to automatically break down green engrams that you pick up in the materials has been a godsend and it, it has made recycling through the inventory much better so it's clear that they are listening to the community so let's see if we can give the only event in the game that doesn't require shooting everything on screen a little more life and making it a little bit better so i hope you all watched this video as always thank you be sure to leave a comment like it if you want share it with your friends or post it on the bungee community forums and I hope to see you all in my next video that may or may not be Destiny related.